Fun Facts presents the 1954 Swallow Doretti Roadster. It is a 50s classic car and it was introduced in 1954 and had a production run through 1955. I am excited. I hope you're excited and let's get started now. The Swallow Doretti. The Swallow Doretti is a two-seater British sports car built on Swallow's own design of the box section tube chassis using a Triumph TR2 mechanicals. Made between 1954 and 1955, it was intended for the U.S. market and to be a more refined two-seater than available there at that time. In 1935, its association through 1946 with Jaguar's pre-war motorcycle sidecars, sometimes known for its similarity to the Ferrari's 166mm Brachetta and the Austin Healey 100. The Doretti name was delivered from Dorothy Dean who managed the Western U.S. distributorship Cal Sales. The trademark logo and Doretti name are in the ownership of Canadian Peter Schumer. He is building a new limited edition sports car called the Doretti TR250, the Corsa Velos, using the Ferrari TR250 chassis and the engine from 1957. The design, based on the Triumph TR2, had much improved stability. The Doretti had a tubular Reynolds 531 medium carbon steel chassis. Reynolds was another member of the TI group. The double skin body had an inner structural skin made of steel and aluminum and an aluminum outer skin. <clears throat> Most cars were supplied with electric overdrive and they were capable of 100 miles per hour. 276 MK1 cars were made including a single fixed head coupe version. The car was designed by in-house engineer Frank Rainbow and produced in the TI factory at the airport, Walsall, Staffordshire, England. Three prototype Mach 2 cars, the Sabre, were produced. These had a stiffer chassis and better weight distribution. The only car that the TI Group ever built under the Swallow name, its production stopped in 1955 when the parent company TI Group changed policy. Allegedly, pressure from the British motor industry, most notably Jaguar, led to the sensation of production of the Duretti. It was thought that the directors of the TI were pressured in that the production of the Duretti sports car placed TI at an advantage over their customers buying raw materials creating a conflict of interest. With a car with overdrive tested by the British magazine The Motor in 1954 had a top speed of 100.2 miles per hour and could accelerate from 0 to 60 in 12.3 seconds. A fuel consumption of 27.9 miles per imperial gallon. The test car cost 1,158 euros, including taxes. The last of its kind, the 1954 Swallow Doretti Roadster. The Swallow Coach Building Company is the best known for their side cars for motorcycles. But this clunky little company was also associated with Jaguar before World War II. With the end of the war, William Lyons sold the Swallow Coach Building Company to Tube Investments, who saw an opportunity to emerge in a small sports car. The vision led to the creation of the 1954 Swallow Doretti Roadster. Tube Investments employee Frank Rainbow created the design for the Swallow Doretti 
which got its name by creating an initializing of Dorothy Dean, the daughter of Arthur Anderson, who imported the car and also distributed the Triumph for Southern California. The little sports car was built on steel tube chassis used for the Triumph TR2 and features aluminum bodywork. For this new car, the drivetrain was pushed further back, creating better weight and smoother handling, not to mention a slighter, larger car. Rainbow drew on early Ferraris for inspiration, and the front end of the Doloretti is clearly influenced by those designs. The Swallow Doretti was powered by a TR2 inline four-cylinder engine with twin side draft SU carburetors. The engine matted with a four-speed manual transmission and was capable of achieving speeds up to 100 miles per hour. Doretti enjoyed a very short production run with only 276 cars being built, making this car even rarer. Only an estimated 140 still exist worldwide. R.M. Sotheby has pristine example of this little sports car that was up for sale. The chassis 1208 was delivered to its first owner to a village just outside Glasgow, Scotland, directly from the factory floor. It was later exported <coughs> to Eastern Canada. In 1999, it was the hands of a collector in Vancouver who set it to Lynn, who sent it to Lynn Martin and Forever Healy's in Post Falls, Idaho for complete restoration. The car that was completed with its aluminum bodywork, tubular chassis, pebble deflectors, bumper bolts, and steel cabin sills. It's an extremely rare find and even rarer condition. And there are some examples of this car. It is the black uh, car that you'll see uh, throughout the video. And if you found yourself this far into the video, we'd certainly like to thank you for taking your time out of your day to watch our video. And if you like our video, please give us a thumbs up because it really does help our channel. And if you like our channel, we encourage you to please subscribe because we'll be doing all of the concept cars and all of the 50s cars, the sports cars. We'll be doing the 60s cars and sports cars. We'll be doing autoramas. We'll be doing custom car shows. We'll be doing hot rods. So there's a little bit of everything for everybody. And we hope to see you when we upload our next video. And we'd like to thank you and always take great care.